what's going on Shedstead Nation? Welcome to Shedstead Shred. What is up? I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving and having a great holiday season. It is day 80 of my low carb keto slash weight loss journey. So I figured it would be time to um, give you guys an update. Last weigh-in was on November 24th, 2019. It was the day before Thanksgiving and I weighed 291.8 pounds. I was happy with that weight. My weight loss has slowed down quite a bit. You know, I have that goal of uh, hitting that 50 pound mark, which would be 290.2 or 290.5, some close. And then, you know, I got the holidays. So, you know, I did pretty good on Thanksgiving. Uh, I did have like, I've noticed that even when I do get off of the low carb diet, I just don't crave the, I just don't crave the goodness that once was. So like for cheesecake, I actually just had half a slice of cheesecake. Wasn't keto cake. It uh, wasn't keto cheesecake. It was pretty sweet. But I mean, it, it was good. I had a little bit of stuffing. Um, and the rest was, you know, keto ham, turkey, salad. I just didn't have the time to do like a keto Thanksgiving, but I guess that'll be for next year. Um, maybe a keto Christmas. So let's talk about my weight. So after another 10 days, I went from 291.8 to 292.2. .2. So I gained 0.4 pounds or zero point. So I gained 0 0.4 pounds. Considering it's the holidays, I'll take that as a win. You know, I had a couple alcoholic beverages with some family, um, did indulge in a little bit of carbs. And I've been trying to keep my macros in line. And I know there's some days where I was probably closer to 50 to 60 carbs, which is still low carb. And then probably on Thanksgiving, I was probably like a little over 100. But um, still doing it. I still feel good. My clothes fits good. This is a really hard time of year with the holidays. You know, there's a lot of stresses going on. So as long as I stay around my weight right now I'm gonna be happy I also think that my body is used to being too in the 290s because I was in the 290s for probably four or five years I think that could be part of the problem um, so I need to break that plateau in the next coming weeks I think it's gonna get a lot easier I'm actually gonna be starting a new job so I'm gonna have to do my food prep um, Take my food with me and everything else so that way I can continue this journey and since I'll be driving 45 minutes to the city I may end up getting a gym membership out there as well and just start going to the gym but I think the most important thing is when I start this new chapter in my life as you can see the, the gate behind me I got a video on that coming out soon but I'm really happy the way that turned out but as I start this new chapter in my life, uh, I want to take it in steps. So start the new job, which I know will have some stresses. Um, I need to adjust my routine to that. So I'm going to work on food prepping and make sure that I'm eating right. And then after that, then I can throw in the working out. Um, I'm not going to say it's going to be the first of January or anything like that. It might be before, it might be after. But right now, I mean, I got my property that I'm walking and everything too, so I'm still getting some exercise, along with all the exercise I'm doing on the property itself, you know, building and mending fences and so forth. But guys, that is a quick update on my low carb weight loss journey. I plan on doing my meal, some meal prep videos on like what I do when I actually have to go for work and the process that I go through that uh, 
and probably start doing some recipes as well. But guys, if you like this channel and you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Obviously, hit that notification bell so you get notified when you, whenever I post a new video. This channel is about living a healthy lifestyle, and we do that through producing our, and growing our own food, living a low-carb style, bleh, living a low-carb lifestyle, if you like that kind of stuff. And I do some DIY stuff on probably like how not to do it. But if you like that stuff and just want to follow someone's journey as they build a homestead, homestead and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys.